Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I am very, very excited for today's video because we are doing a challenge that I really never thought I'd be doing. Now you guys know as an artist, I'm always looking for new people and accounts to follow to keep me inspired and wanting to create. Now, two of my all time favorite pages to follow on Instagram are by the usernames Shine and Shadows and Gabrielle with X's. Now, their work are both so beyond incredible. I've gotten so much inspiration from them and have recreated many looks on my page, but there's just something a little bit different about both of their makeup looks and that is that most of them are on their arms. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw these arm looks, I was a little bit confused and the first thought that went through my head was, oh my God, which YouTuber is really struggling for ideas now? But when I thought about it a little bit further, it's the exact same thing as doing a face chart, which is basically practicing a makeup look on a piece of paper before doing it on your face. But this time it's just, on your arm instead. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to do in this challenge today. As many of you guys know, when I was younger, I used to draw and paint portraits all the time. So I'm pretty familiar with being able to recreate the human face. And I also do makeup pretty much every single day as well. And I like to think that I'm relatively good at it. So combining the two could be easy, but these artists are also insanely, insanely talented and create the most beautiful, colorful, glittery, blended makeup looks. So this could be a major, major fail. But regardless, I am so excited to try this out today. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys, let's just jump right into this challenge today. As you can see, my full face of makeup is already on and fully complete. And that is because we're gonna be focusing on my arm today. Hello, second camera angle. Now the first step of my arm makeup routine is going to be to apply a coat of foundation all the way around my arm, just to even out all of the skin. And for today's video, I'm very, very excited to tell you guys that I am partnering with Revlon to show you their brand new photo ready candid foundation. Now in today's look, I am actually wearing this on my face as well in the shade 320. And before I even tell you guys the fun things about this, I will go ahead and say, and this is not even part of the sponsorship, that this is literally one of the best color matches I've ever had. Regardless of the sponsorship, I'm gonna be reaching for this a whole lot more, so y'all stop dragging me. But let me tell you, because it actually is a really bomb foundation too. The brand new Revlon Photo Ready Candy Foundation comes in 31 different shades of a medium, buildable coverage, natural finish formula. It includes antioxidants and anti-blue light ingredients, infuses vitamin E, and also is anti-pollutant as well, which means it basically keeps out all the disgusting, crusted, busted stuff that's floating around in the air. Kind of good. Wearing it on my face, it blends it out so easily, and I will say it feels extremely light on the skin as well. And it also provides coverage while still letting your natural beauty, like my freckles, shine through. And best thing of all, it only retails for $10.99. So good, so fresh, you guys definitely have to check it out. And thank you once again to Revlon for working with me on today's video. All right, so since this is the first time of me literally ever trying this out, I think for my first look, I wanna start off with something easy. Now, if it goes well, I will definitely do another one, but I wanna do this look from my paint by numbers photo. Obviously not the whole numbers and white part, but like the actual glam that I had on and this one eye is really, really pretty. And I think I could kind of do an okay job of putting that on my arm. Maybe let's try it. So I think I wanna start doing my eyes in the same order that I would do my normal eye looks in, which is starting off with my eyebrows. This could be a major, major mistake because if the eyebrows aren't looking good, the entire look is already canceled, but that's good because it means we get to keep doing the challenge until it works. That's not good. Actually, that sounds like my literal worst nightmare. I'm gonna grab my Anastasia number 12 brush and my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So looking at this photo, my eyebrow is definitely like the biggest thing. Shocker. My eyebrow and inner corner pretty much ended the same place, but the tail and the eyeball do not. Let me start off like up here. My eyebrows go up at a pretty soft angle and then kind of go straight out. Okay, I'm gonna incorporate this freckle into, into my brow so it doesn't show at the end. Okay, my brows are pretty thick as well. Let's be real. Like I said, this is the first try. It's okay if it's not perfect. If I pull this this way, I can like kind of blend out the dip brow. My brows are definitely thick all the way through, but they do have like a somewhat bit of ombre from like very, very filled in and the tail to a little bit more sparse and like hairy and airy. <laughs> In the front of the brows, I wanna to try to recreate that same look today. I'm just setting that dip brow in place using T from my palette. Then just blending that shade in towards the front for a little ombre moment. I guess with like another angled brush now and another dark brown shade, I'll grab Benny and T from my palette. I'll use this to like sketch in actual hairs. I'm definitely gonna go outside of my brow lines as well because I definitely like to brush my brow hairs upwards so they're nice and textured. Kinda good! Ah! 
Wow, okay. Okay, now I need to do that again. I think mine are much thicker than what I <laughs> what I made this one today. We're just gonna do it in my head, my brows look like, which is a lot thinner and prettier than what <laughs> they really are. Okay, more dip brow. Mm, that is not looking even. Okay, this needs to be arc, arched, arc, whatever. More straight words. So I'm actually going to interrupt this freckle right here. I love that. I think my freckles knew I was filming this video. I just wanted to really align themselves so I could draw my brows in the right place. So thank you for that. Okay, just filling this in now. Same exact thing that I did beforehand, except now we're doing it backwards. <sighs> Blending in some of those hairs using T from the palette once again, just to create a more like ombre shadow brow color. And then using T and Benny to fill in. Do those look even? Oh, not really. Not really! We already have established that this is our practice, so I'm going to not worry about the shape too much. Wow, this looks so awful. I'm scared. <laughs> so grabbing a little bit of concealer on my same angle brush that I used to cut my brows, I'm just going to cut my brows. Just going in very, very carefully. And then with the excess concealer, then just patting it into place so we can use it as an eyeshadow base. Now doing the other brow as well. These are definitely not even. I already know that for a fact. I'm thinking maybe I should like add in my nose contour now. Just gonna grab my regular Anastasia contour kit and my angled brush from Maya James Charles brush set. And then just contour it. This looks awful. For some reason, this contour powder is creating like a gray tone over top of my concealer, which has literally never happened before considering I use this combination all the time, which is really annoying that this is now happening on my arm where I'm trying to create a look, but we're just going to ignore it for now and hopefully it fixes itself later. I think I need to put in my like eye, like lash line first. So I know where everything else is supposed to go. And it's pretty much just a straight line all the way across. So if that's my lash line, okay, now the same thing on the other arm. Oh God, what's this? Eyeballs looking wonky. We're gonna leave it at that for right now. I think I just do my eyeshadow in the normal order. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna grab an R39 brush and start off with a little bit of Co James and put that in the crease. Just really packing it on there and then blending it out just like we do with our normal eyeshadow techniques. Then just feathering out the edges onto that concealer so it looks nice and even. Yeah, gorgeous. Bringing it into the inner corner as well, but kind of fading it out because we have that glitter going on there later. Of course, fading it into the nose contour a little bit, just like I always do. Same thing on the other side as well. I hate when my Cartier bracelets are in the way of me being able to blend. I absolutely hated that. Lewis cut that out. Now with an M456 brush, I'm gonna dip into 10% off, which is the darker brown, and use this to add some like contour into the crease that doesn't even exist. Same things before bringing it inwards and blending it up. And just like before, pulling the shade pretty far out as well. Other side to match. Using a little bit of No Beans to add even more depth with that same M456 brush and just keeping this kind of more in the outer third or the outer two thirds rather of the crease. Now I am going to start sketching out my black winged liner using a little brush and some spooky from the palette. I'm going to buff this into the lash line that we drew in earlier, starting off thin and then going right upwards and pulling it right up and then buffing this black into the crease for some added dimension. Just using the Stila Liquid Metals to cut my crease. So a nice little round shape. Oh, still bad. <laughs> Why would it focus? Focus! Hello? It's looking for a face. Well, there's one right here, Mama. <laughs> Clearly it's bad. <laughs> well, what do I do now? Fix it, quit. That's a good option. I like that option, I wanna quit. We can't quit though, I need a video. Let me add in some more black because it can really fix a lot of problems. This is not staying black as I wanted it to be. That's... A Decent looking. Okay, yeah, okay. Still not good, it's still not good, I know it's not. <laughs> Grabbing a little bit of face and ring light with a little spritz of some setting spray, mama. I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner, then a little bit on the brow bone too. Now I'm gonna create my little lower lash line. Well, it's gonna get covered up, but I need to put it there anyway. Okay, so we're gonna put some same colors we used below the lash line. And then using a little bit of both Code James and 10% off to blend those shades out. Oh, not awful. Bad, but not awful. Now I have to draw in the eyelashes, which is where this could get really bad, really, really fast. Oh my God. Okay, that kind of looks okay. Ah! Oh, we, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I have to do this again on the other eye. I forgot about the other eye. No, 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 I said no, no. There's only one eye for me. <laughs> How are we on this level of delusion and we're only 30 minutes into filming this? This cannot be happening today. We're just gonna speed through the second eye. I think I'm 
done. I'm scared to look at it. This is my first time ever doing this. At least I gave the precursor of I already plan on doing a second look if this one fails. So let's give the grand reveal and see what we got going on. Oh. Oh my god, why? How did the eyeballs end up like that? So looking at both eyes and both brows, they both look actually really, really good, but they're just not even. Like if I go like this and pull the skin down, it already looks a lot better. Oh no, this is so hard. Oh, you know what I want to do? Oh, scared. Zoom out. <laughs> Imagine this is a thumbnail. Oh, no, you did a back for her. Oh, you're <laughs> kidding? That was my thumbnail. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's so I have to Photoshop that. That was going to be my thumbnail. I wanted to go like this and have the eyes be right there. And it didn't work. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's be honest with each other here. Our first attempt at our arm facial is definitely a major fail. I think this is actually the first time we've done a makeup challenge on this channel, and it's been like a major, major, major awful failure. But we do not take no for an answer. We don't like to fail, and we never back down from a challenge. So I really want to try this again and take what I learned this time around and apply it next time, which is, of course, that my arm is round. So I need to try it really hard to make these like even. I definitely wanna pay attention to the fact that the one closer to my wrist should be up and the one closer to my elbow should be a little bit more down just to offset the like skin movement. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and I'll be right back to try look number two. So for this next look, I am deciding to challenge myself, which is a brave decision considering the first one was already challenged and did not go well. But you know what? I looked at some of the videos that Gabrielle and Shine Shadows had posted on their Instagram accounts, and I noticed that on all of their videos, they started off with the eyebrows and like eyeballs already kind of like pre-sketched out. So they had like a rough idea of where to put things, which hello, like I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with. So for the second look, I picked out this photo that I posted on my Instagram literally over a year ago. I actually did a look on this. I think this is in my coming out story video. This is literally one of my favorite looks I've ever created in my like entire makeup career. I think it is so stunning. So I wanna try to recreate like this exact like eye area on my arm, including the eyes at the different angle and the eyes being open. So this might mess me up even more than the first time around, but at least I can say that I tried, and if I get this, it'll be really cool and fun and fresh. So let's just jump right in again. Let me grab my Anastasia brow pencil in the shade Soft Brow, which is a nice erasable color. I'm gonna draw my eyeball right here. Actually, I'm gonna put in my eyebrows first still. That is a good brow. Okay, I'm happy with that eyebrow. That means my eyeball would be right about here. I'm gonna draw in my nice eyeball, and it ends, it ends on this freckle. Oh my God, all my, my freckles and beauty marks are literally landing in the perfect places. And then, okay, so if my brow's here, I have to imagine like my nose bridge is coming down right here. So like my contour is gonna be, I'm gonna put my contour here, I know that. So my actual nose bridge is gonna be like here. Oh my God, it literally goes over another freckle! Ah! My body was meant for this! So this means this line goes right up about here and like curves in and there's the shadow in here. Mm, actually, no, that's way too close. My nose bridge is gonna be here. With the shadow going this way. That means the brow is gonna go right here at the same angle and it's gonna stop right there because she's thick, but she gets cut off. So then my eyeball goes down right here. So eyeball number two is here and it goes like this. Okay, like that. And then my left eyebrow does tend to droop down a little bit in photos, which is, <laughs> she's drooping here, that is for sure. Now that I have the rough draft Kind of sketched out, it's looking okay, not gonna lie. I'm going to fill in the eyes first, which is what Gabrielle did on all of her videos. So I'm going to grab the Jeffree Star Drug Lord Liquid Lipstick and use this to fill them in. Set this down with some flashback from the palette. Let's draw in some nice eyeballs. Okay, now I'm gonna shade this in a little bit. Okay, that is a good eyeball if I ever did see one. Honestly, truly. Adding in tiny little lines for eye details. That is a good eyeball, look at that. That is so professional and famous of me. So this one is going like right here. Now it is time to fill in the eyebrows. Okay, I'm just using T from the palette and putting in same thing like the day brow before, but into the tail. And then I'm just gonna use the excess and blend it forward. This time not being so intense and making it a little bit softer and less um, scary looking. How did that still get dark? <laughs> that's a good, that's good. 
That's a good eyebrow. I'm really happy with that. Now I'm going to carve out the brow. Okay, not exactly the shape that I was going for. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna put some concealer underneath the eyeball too, just cause we will put shadow there in a little bit. This is already turning out way better than the first time. I am first going to grab a pencil brush that is stained with a little bit of purple and dip into Escape from the palette. And I'm going to use this to build out our outer V of the eye. That's too big. I'm not gonna use that brush with the total eye. I'm gonna grab this Sigma E21 brush instead. Looks like I brought it to about here and then really brought it up nicely to about right there. Then it looks like I had some more escape right into here. This is actually before the palette was even a thing. So I don't even know what I used in this original video. Probably the 35B, RIP, gone, but forgotten. The purple also went below my lash line, so I'm gonna bring that below as well, leaving a tiny little gap for that light blue liner that we'll put in later. In this original look, I also do remember that I did a purple liner, so I'm going to throw that on now before the rest of the look comes on, just so I can kind of keep it in place. Now I need to blend that out with a little bit of, love that, with a pencil brush and blend over the edges carefully. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of, you're kidding! the bright red and that same brush. I guess we're just sticking with this one, honestly. This one's gonna go right above. Love that. Blending it together. Now I need to bring in a little bit more single because it got a little bit lost in the blending process. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of an M456 and dip into 518 and blend out this top edge. I wanna clean just the edge up with concealer just because on the original look, it is a little bit more like pointed. So if I kind of like just loosely hold this in, it might kind of shape it a little bit more too. Oh yes, that looks so good and also simultaneously fresh. Okay, great. I'm really happy right now. Okay, so now I'm going to grab, hello, hello, from my palette and a little packer brush. And we're going to use this shade to cut my crease, I'm going to overlay this right over top of the purple. Oops. Ah! How did water get on there? Just like when I did the original look, I'm going to make sure to bring this color all the way into that inner corner. And this cut crease actually went far above the crease, which is really, really cool. This is more of like a messy style cut crease and I really love how it turned out. So I'm just going to bring that into there too. I'm gonna grab a little bit of acapella with that same brush and use this to kind of blend together the blue and the purple. I'm gonna use this to lightly blend out that edge. I'm gonna also pop a little bit of this hello right on that inner corner and bring it onto the lash line. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm gonna grab a little bit of Benny on a tiny little brush. This is the M515, like, hello, look at this. And I'm gonna use this to add some black, a very little bit of black, just the tiniest, tiniest little bit to the outer V and the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Jawbreaker. This is from the brand new Blue Blood Collection. Well, it's not, actually this one's been around for a while. But it just relaunched with the Blue Blood Collection, which I'm so excited about and proud of Sister Jeffree. I believe it's sold out by the time this video is up. So, I mean, go get it, but like, good luck. Um, and I'm going to use this and a tiny little liner brush to line my lower waterline. And then adding in a tiny little bit of Drug Lord in there just to look make it look like it's like kind of wet. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of the MAC Reflex Teal and add this on top. Then just using a tiny little bit of glitter adhesive, I'm going to pop on a few little chunky glitters. Gonna use a little bit more of ring light on a tiny little brush once again and highlight the brow bone. Now I think it's just time to draw in the lashes. So now I have to draw in my eyeliner. Thank God that was literally the smoothest line I've ever, I've ever diddly done to draw. Now I'm gonna start sketching in the lashes, going very, very slowly, kind of drawing them in like little clumps at first. For the bottom lash, I did add a little individual, so I'm gonna add in a little spiky right here, and some more little spikies. That is literally so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I think that is officially one out of my two eyes complete, which was the far harder one. I am going to now do the other one quickly and the challenge will finally be complete. Oh my gosh, you guys, literally five hours later, I was so convinced this is going to be an easy video to film, and I, of course, was wrong, but finally, my second eye look is complete and I'm actually very, very happy with it. <gasps> Beautiful! Wow, look at that artistry. I went into the challenge today not really knowing what to expect and this was 
way, way harder than anticipated. Oh my God, I really thought this is gonna be a quick little one and done video. No, absolutely not. But that is of course, because you guys know, I never like to give up on anything. Um, I will probably openly and honestly say this is like the worst we've done at a challenge so far. I feel like in a lot of our challenge videos, I usually start off really, really scared and then it somehow turns out pretty good at the end. I, it's, it's okay. I mean, looking at this, like, it's okay. It definitely could be a whole lot worse. I think we definitely learned a lot today. This is great practice, but if I ever wanna be on a level even close to Gabrielle or Shine Shadows, I'm gonna probably have to do this on my arm a million more times. So it seems like for now, I'm just gonna stick to my normal eyeshadow on my actual eyelids. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this makeup challenge today, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your sister love and support. It really does help me out and mean the absolute world to me. And also, if you have not already, make sure to click that big red subscribe button and come join the sisterhood. We are 15 million sisters strong and I would absolutely love to have you join the family and also do not forget to click that bell icon so you get notification every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on our makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They're posted to James Charles. My Snapchat for more behind the scenes. stuff is James Charles, the next dress after Charles. This video is sister shout out goes to sister Adam. Thank you so much love for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to do the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again to Revlon for sponsoring this video. You guys, the Photo Ready Candid Foundation is it. We've been filming for almost six hours now and it still looks absolutely perfect. And yes, I am being sponsored to say so, but like the proof is right here. I'm obsessed and definitely plan on wearing this a whole lot more. I think I just found a new Holy Grail foundation. All that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.